epic journey began on the train, we had no idea of the drunken hell waiting for us at the end of the tracks. Chicago, Corona. Where are you going? We're going downtown, Blues Festival. Blues Festival? Drink, gonna drink it up. Drink it up? Drink it up. Cool. That's the word of the day. Drink it up. Drink, drink it up. We arrived at Union Station with no trouble whatsoever. After we arrived, we joined up with the masses heading down to the Big Ol' Blues Festival. As we got closer to the park, we began to realize what the true meaning of Blues Fest really was. Marijuana t-shirts. Legalize marijuana. These t-shirts uh, are from a, an organization called the Illinois Marijuana Political Action Committee, which is trying to decriminalize uh, hemp and hemp products. Aside from smoking a joint, uh, you can make things out of hemp. For example, one acre of marijuana uh, or hemp will produce four times the amount of paper pulp that trees will, and it's a renewable crop. Okay, so you actually save the forest and put people to work. Uh, also, uh, a pair of blue jeans made out of hemp will last 10 times longer than cotton, and it's cheaper. And yeah, you can smoke a joint too. Now let's hear from a lady who likes to drink. And your name is? My name is Mary Kramer. And uh, what are your views on Blues Fest? Good times, good friends, good fun. Good beer? Yeah, good beer too. Actually, this is a very good beer. I got this from somebody else. <laughs> so it's not very good beer, it's kind of warm. Would it be half as fun if you were not drinking? Yeah, it sure would be. It would be? Yeah, it would. OK, cool. <laughs> OK, cool. Yeah, what's in your, what's in your cup? Oh. <laughs> oh! Well, in my cup, I have a mixture of high C and vodka, Smirnoffs. Smirnoffs? Right. Is that the cheap stuff? It's the cheap <laughs> stuff, but it doesn't hurt. I mean, it enhances the experience of the whole festival. All these people have one thing in common and one thing only. That's drinking. Everybody here is drinking. Everyone here is blasted out of their mind on alcohol. Kind of funny, kind of sad. Kind of a sad state of affairs on America, but hey, it's cool. Nobody's hurting anybody, I guess. You know, everyone's all screwed up, throwing around frisbees, bringing their kids and their dogs, introducing the children to alcoholism. The children. What about the children? What about the children? And what's in your cup? Um, there's a little vodka in my cup. Okay, that's right, cool. The Blues Fest is all about the blues, man. Straight from Chicago. Bunch of guys getting together with a lot of soul, man. That's what it's all about, and everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. Yeah, you got it, man. <laughs> I go to Ball State University. And what are you majoring in? Um, women and Gender Studies. Good time. Okay. And uh, what what effect does alcohol play in Women and Gender Studies? Um, it doesn't at all. No, are you sure? Yeah, it does. Like the whole bar scene doesn't like play any part in like. Not in my major, no. Really? Yeah, really. Like, there's no gender issues at the bar. Yes, there are gender issues at the bar. Can you tell us about those? Yeah, sure. Um, what do you want to know? Tell us. Well, what are the differences okay. between... A, okay, let's say a man goes to a bar and a woman goes to a bar. Okay. What's the difference? Here's how I see it. I see it that um, usually boys go to a bar, men, whatever, go to pick up girls. That's their job. That's what they're there for. They're out with their friends to pick up phone numbers. Girls are there to have a good time with their friends, drink a couple beers and go home. Grind up against a few guys or no? Um, some skanky hoes probably are, but... Skanky hoes. Is, is, is that like the technical term that you're learning yeah, in, in college? No. Skanky hoes. Hi. <laughs> What's your deal? Nothing. I'm from Michigan. Never been here before ever. Having a blast. Just here for drinking or? No, we came here for the Blues Festival. Blues Festival? Yeah, and drinking too, so... 50-50, drinking Blues Festival? 50-50, sightseeing, you know, got to get it all in in one weekend, so. One weekend, huh? Well, good luck to you. Thank you. Yeah. Goodbye. Tell me what you're doing here. Okay, what you like to do is you like to take the grass and you like to break it up into some fine shake here and uh, take a one, two, five paper, fold it a little bit, throw it in there, even it out. Well, are those one, two, five? Hell yeah, they are. Got a baby. <laughs> Bill just learned how to roll. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Bill was at Woodstock. <laughs> 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 
And what you do is you want to roll it up, tighten Rolling it up. Rolling 101. <laughs> you want to roll it like a cigarette almost. What you do is you bring it down, you flip the paper over, roll it up, flip the paper. There we go. There's Sweet. the joint. How'd you learn how to do that? Uh, friends. Wow. I could never do that. School. school. I, high school. Standardized education. Yeah, high school education for you. I started out with the dollar bill method, and then I had a friend at college show me how to roll fingers. So it took a while. Maybe a little something for beginners? Rolling machines? Dollar bill? Yeah, dollar bill. That's how. That's the way I started. Well, why, do you, why do you think people just look at the getting high part? They don't see the other uses. Well, George Washington, our founding father, had over 200 acres of hemp growing on his plantation, except they used it for making rope and other things. As time went on, uh, people have made it into marijuana or you can smoke it. But what we're trying to do is make the public aware that it has many other uses besides just smoking to get high. Uh, and that's not a bad thing either. So, uh, my family's got to be proud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure all of ours are too. <laughs> uh, which do you think is worse, uh, drinking alcohol or smoking marijuana? Uh, that depends. Uh, not everything is for everybody. Uh, you can smoke a joint and drive your car and not wreck it. You can drink a beer and drive your car and not wreck it. But some people can't do either and some can do both. It depends on the person. Not everybody should smoke pot. It's, it's, it's not a good thing for everybody. But if you have cancer, or if you're on AIDS, or you're taking chemotherapy, or um, inhibitors in your bloodstream, smoking pot does offset the nausea uh, that accompanies that. Yeah, and, but nobody looks at that, huh? You know, uh, nobody really sees that. Uh, I think it's a shame to put people in jail for smoking pot. Uh, people who sell crack and heroin and rob and kill, they should be in jail. I don't think people should go to jail for smoking a joint. I really don't. No, either do we. Down to the crossroads, I tried to flag a ride. Down to the crossroads, I tried to flag a ride. Nobody seemed to know me, nobody just passed on me. on the festival of booze, blues, drugs, and sin. So, Chris and I packed up all our stuff and headed on home to the safety of suburbia. Hey, man, you played that last 
night, dude. Yeah. Nah. You only got one gig or what, dude? <laughs> I went in last night. Hey, Jordan. 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 We all breathed a deep sigh of relief when we got to the train because we knew we would not have to deal with your drunken children anymore. It's been a rough night.